Hey everyone, how we all doing? Okay, so it is all going off. Molly go lightly. Well, 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 what do we say? I actually found a cracker today. And to the person who put this out, I say thank you. Because what I am going to show you in today's video, in today's Molly Go Lightly video, is going to have you all laughing. Because according to Molly, everything that's going wrong right now is Katie Joy's fault. Now, when I say that, what I'm talking about is... Apparently, Dre has said that nobody is allowed to see Bond now. I wonder why. Now, it couldn't be every time Molly speaks with Von's father, she says, do you seriously think your son is capable of doing this? Well, what I have to say to that is, this is a man who knows nothing about his son. And he, isn't, he knows nothing about his son because he hasn't been in his son's life. And the reason for that is because he's been in and out of jail his whole life. These are the words of Marvon Senior. Hmm. So how would he know if his son was or was not capable of doing this? We all know that Marvon was going through some struggles. And my heart goes out to him. Because I know what it's like to go through those struggles. We may have different struggles. But we had the same feelings. We thought about the same things. And that is sad. Breaks my heart. What we do know is that the temporary criminal um, um, crime reference number has now been changed from a temporary number to a real crime reference number. Um, I'm just going to get the video up where someone confirmed that. Not that one. Right. Now, we don't need to watch all of this. I'm just going to get it to where I need it. Because... I like down the rabbit hole. She just has really long intros. I don't like long intros. Sorry, honey. Okay, that should be about right. Let's just set this up because she did call to make sure that the information was correct. And for that, I say thank you. Shout out to everyone in the chat. <laughs> you know people are going to be dragging you later. Your intro is so long. It is. Yep. Make sure you skip two minutes and 38 seconds and it won't be long, I promise. That would have um, been helpful like before. Get people started. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. All right, let me see. That little thing about the intro would have been would have been better before the intro started. Just an idea, honey. But never mind. Oh, I got in here. I got my member Dukes, KD. Dukes and KD are my are my mods as well. Shout out to them. Flava, Flava. <laughs> I saw your message. <laughs> I, all right. Well, the real Susias, please stand up. I mean. This this lady's just loosely using that term. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I guess 
she's saying all these people are sucios. So let me let me bring you guys some tea, right? And let me get right to it. Um, now, you, you guys know I had to do my due diligence, right? So I called Georgia PD. Um, I was informed that the, there was a case number, right? Remember when I had dropped my two other videos and I said, guys, the, the number starts with the T because it's a temporary report. They're trying to figure out if they're going to accept it moving forward. Now we have a case number. Well, I'm going to tell you guys, okay, there's a case number, a real case number. I called and I said, can you confirm with, you know, and I had to tell them because I wasn't going to lie to the police. I said, listen, I'm a blogger. People are, are reaching out, wanting this information confirmed, uh, whether there's a, a case number for this situation that's happening um, over the internet. And it's correct. It's accurate. There's an actual case number. Now, the, the picture of the person, because um, I was sent a quote, an alleged officer. That's not the officer. That's actually the lady that works in the front desk. Um, I don't know who the officer is. I believe there's two officers that were mentioned um, in the initial report. So I'm not going to give the case number quite out yet because when I talked to them, I said, I'm a blogger. And they said, well, we really can't talk to you. And I said, well, can you confirm that this is a legit case number for this situation? The CR. Yes, they confirm. There is a CRN. That's what the number starts with, with the CRN. And that's where we're at. So the number is real. It's no longer a T. It's real, real, real. It's, it's real. It's real. Now. Okay, so I'm not going to take all up all of those. If you want to go and see that, I will add to the description of my video. Um, but that's great news. But as I was saying, Molly is telling everybody that Everything that's going wrong is Katie's fault. Now, it couldn't be the fault of the people disrespecting Dre, disrespecting the children. In a video today, she said that Bon, no, Raza, was not one son, but the girl's father's son. And she went on with that for about a good 10, 15 minutes. And her chat is going absolutely crazy. Vaughn is Raz's Raza, dad. Vaughn is Raz's Raza, dad. Raz's dad is Vaughn, not... I'm not going to say his name. We don't need his name. But that was embarrassing. But she does that quite regular. She likes to embarrass herself. Sadly. So, since she's blaming Katie for everything and still telling people to send to the Cash App, to the PayPal, I have a little gift for you. So, let's get this one out of the way, shall we? Because this one. This one is priceless. Are you ready for it? If you're not, then get ready for it. I know some of you have already seen this because I've seen you comment. Um, but this is priceless. Wait, she never saw. Wait, 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 wait. What? She never showed the receipts that she gave the money. Um, she showed a receipt that she gave seventeen thousand, but she raised thirty-two thousand. There's a receipt for ten thousand on hold. <clears throat> But we don't even know what was raised. Summer Wells thing. If you want to help find Summer Wells and you want to make a donation, send it to the fucking bank. Why are you for a fucking middleman? Send it to the effing bank, not the middleman. Interesting, Molly. Interesting. That's how shit happens. That's how shit happens. To a bank, people. Send it to a bank. Not to a middleman, to a bank. Not a fucking PayPal or a Cash App. Not to F in PayPal or Cash App. Hmm. But isn't Molly giving out PayPals and Cash Apps right now? Isn't that what Molly's doing right now, is giving out cash apps and telling people to please send money to cash app and PayPal? Or is that just a figment of my imagination? But, oh, let's remember, it's all Katie's fault. Nobody else's. 
for hiding receipts, for not giving information about what's going on. Do we have a lawyer? Do we not have a lawyer? Are we allowed to see Vaughan? Are we not allowed to see Vaughan? Have Vaughan, has Vaughan been seen? Was it a lawyer who arranged the visit with Dre? Or did Letitia talk to Dre, make arrangements? And then it all went pear-shaped when they were disrespecting Dre on live streams time after time after time. Because they have literally disrespected Dre at every given opportunity. One minute they're asking if they need money for a food. The next, she wants to bury her. Then she wants to send her money for the children. Then she wants the children taken away. Now, Molly, it would be a really, really good idea if you could get into one lane and stay there maybe because literally everything is all over the shop. We have no idea what's going on, when it's going on. You told Dre that if she let Letitia see Vaughn, you would take down all the videos. You made a promise, but never stuck to her. Is that Katie's fault too? I'm sorry, but I'm just bored with Katie being blamed for everything. Literally everything. It's like you hold no self-responsibility. You even have a video saying, without a crystal ball, answer these. But let's just finish this video off, shall we? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I've been on for fucking a half an hour. Someone's got to fucking, you know, just say, this is all bullshit. This is bullshit. This is all bullshit. It's bullshit is what it is. It's bullshit. That's how crooks cheat you. That's how that crooks cheat you. That's how crooks cheat you. That's how crooks cheat you. Just to tell you what she said there, that's how crooks cheat you. With PayPal and Cash App apps. That is how crooks cheat you. We're going to replay that last bit again. Just the last bit. Cheat you. That's how crooks cheat you. Thank you, Molly. Thank you for straightening that out for us. So, guys. When you see a PayPal or a Cash App and it's for a purpose of charity, when you're trying to help someone in need, like raising money to find Summer Wells or raising money for a mother to see her child in a coma, then you shouldn't use PayPal or Cash Apps but that, because that is how crooks cheat you him right from the horse's mouth. Now, I need to be honest with you guys. I have been covering this now for a month and it has been an emotional roller coaster. I feel like I need to take a step back from covering this for maybe a week because the stuff that I've covered, Molly attacking a mother of three children who is sadly no longer with us. That one had me in tears for hours. When Molly had a woman up on panel and she was talking about her son and how he'd overdosed. That broke my heart. This has been a roller coaster. 
of emotions and it's hard for anybody to continuously cover so for a week or two i'm going to work on some other content and when there's bigger updates rather than molly just disrespecting dre and her family and marvon's family then i will come back and i will update you and give my opinion on what's going on but as of right now i feel like it's been one hell of a ride and i need to step off it for a second we know that molly isn't going to accept what she has done wrong she isn't going to stand up and say okay i made mistakes because that would be a godsend but in reality we know that won't happen molly is going to continue to blame katie joy for all her mistakes and what she has done wrong. And that's not going to change. She needs a scapegoat. And Katie Joy's it. I made a comment. On. A video that EKC did. About Molly. Katie. And all of that let me just get it through to my computer and I can share it with you let me just see if what am I doing Did I send it through? Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is what I said on EKC's video. And needless to say, she had a little bit of a tantrum. So this is what I said. I said the thing, things that have been said about Dre is disgusting. Today, as you know, Mo, as you know, Molly was yelling that Marvon was trying to leave Dre to get away from her forever. This question, if ask yourself this question: If your husband was in this position, brought up officially adopted by his great grandparents. A father who was admitted he was never in his son's life growing up because he was in and out of prison. That father is online saying there is no way my son would do this to himself. What are you going to do? Well, needless to say, the response is long. And I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to start it off. And then if you want to read it, you can pause to read it. But it starts off with none of my effing business. Yeah, classy. Let me say something. I am not close with my family. Never have been. For similar reasons as to why Yvonne is not close to his mother. My mother once asked me to hitchhike over 200 miles to come and care for her because she had flu. Over 200 miles. Because I didn't have enough money to be able to buy a bus ticket to get there or a train ticket, she asked me to hitchhike. Now, if I was to end up in a coma, 
the last person my husband would even think about contacting would be my family because of the way they've treated me because of the way I was raised and the way I've been treated as an adult now if I was to go to see my mother and buy her alcohol buy her a meal and all of that everything would be great but the moment that I would not have enough money to be able to do what she wanted I would be the bad person I would be the one at fault I would get abuse and it seems very much like what Marvon went through if I didn't have for her I would be the bad person but if I was given, 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 then she'd be happy. The moment I say I couldn't do something would be the moment that war would break out. So I understand what it is like to have parents that like that. And my own father was also in and out of jail when I was growing up. That's just reality. Life is what it is. You take your debt, you take your hand of cards, and you learn to live with what you've been dealt. For me, it made me a stronger person. It showed me the person I didn't want to be. It taught me compassion. It taught me kindness. And what kindness was not. And what was not compassion. But now we just have to wait. To see the results of this investigation that has started. And as most people know. The police don't work. At your speed they work at their own. So Molly could be waiting for a call for a few days or even weeks. All depending on their workload and when they get around to dealing with different cases. So until then, I'm going to be taking a step back from Molly Go Lightly and her absolute shit show. Because Molly will never admit that she has done anything wrong. And the fact that she is talking about buying land and the cemetery. Um, starting her own little religion. Yeah. You kind of get the, inf the impression that Molly wants to be a cult leader. But that's just my opinion. That is just my thoughts. But she is an absolute nightmare. The things that I've seen. In a recent video, Molly said that if she was a scammer, there would be tons of videos out there because she'd been doing YouTube for four years. So... Let me just set this page up. Mm -hmm. Share this, share screen. I'm not going to be playing anything. I'm just going to show you what comes up when I type in the search. And uni is going live at 2.15 a.m. Thanks, uni, for the late one. Molly, do that right? No. Go lightly, scammer. Okay. The setup, the 
5,000 lion scam. Molly paid 5,000 to have someone down. Eight months ago. <sighs> oh, that's going to go down a treat. Ziggy Ho hosts Molly Go Lightly Stalker. Toasty reviews, Molly Go Lightly Threat and Histrionics. Molly Go Lightly Attacks Frankie, part one. Three years. Oh, oh boy. If you haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, you'd probably rather not. Harassing and arresting a nine-month pregnant woman. Is that Molly Go Lightly? Who knows? But as you can see, Molly has a very... Very colourful background. So. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so here's my thinking. As we go out to this video. And I finish it. I'm going to play that video once more. I just got to figure out where it was. Let me stop sharing a second so I can go do this. Oh, sugar, which one was there? Oh, why can't I find her? Okay, why can't I find this? What happened to that video? Please don't... Yeah, here it goes. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please check out the next video. Please hit, hit, hit subscribe, like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? Have you did more than you need to? Because I know I have. Um, are you just as tired of it as I am? The people getting, the good people, getting money taken for bad reasons. Because this is what puts people off, helping other people. This is what destroys things. The likes of Molly Go Lightly and her friends. So, good night everyone. Wait, 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 wait. What? She never showed the receipt that she gave the money um she showed a receipt that she gave seventeen thousand, but she raised thirty two thousand. there's a receipt for ten thousand on hold <clears throat>
but we don't even know what was raised. Summer Wells thing. If you want to help find Summer Wells and you want to make a donation, send it to the fucking bank. No need for a fucking middleman. That's how shit happens. I was given an address in Tennessee to a bank. Not a fucking PayPal or a cash app. When did we all become fucking stupid? Are we all new here? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I've been on for fucking a half an hour. Someone's got to fucking, you know, just say, this is all bullshit. This is bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's bullshit is what it is. That's how crooks cheat you. That's how crooks cheat you. That's how crooks cheat you. Again, thank you for that, Molly.